I'm tired and sleepy. And sleepy. Okay, so. Excuse me? There's no ambiance whatsoever. Okay, somewhere in, you know, the armory. You. I apparently lo uh, lost a key. By lost, I mean skipped. Battlements. Battlements. We're going to eat some battlements. And our breath is going to become amazing. This is where I feel I belong. Okay, so this... What the hell? Which... What the hell room am I even? You see, like, it's it's not that... Oh, I'm in the bar. Oh, I see. Rooms aren't marked until you go to them. Interessant. Well, good. I mean, I was hoping it wasn't the servant's room, because allowing servants to drink is incrediblement irresponsible. Maybe he was going to do something funny if I let him finish his falling over dead animation. Keeling over dead. Keel. That's what, what sounds you make when you keel over dead. What are you dressed all in white for? Are you the milkman? Is your milk delicious? I swear to God. You. Freaking Ramirez. Oh, whoa. whoa. Dude, those actually kind of look like real objects from a minute away. That's, whoa, that's trippy. What the, why would you do that? That's so weird. Why would you deny me my objects? Oh my god. So that's like the real version of that. Weird. Okay, dude, like, look, blah, 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 blah. Why? Why haven't I been wherever the hell this is? <laughs> uh oh, mouse. <laughs> and again, I'm nowhere. What a strange semi map. Hey, at least those shelves are real. I think. <laughs> yes, they they go parallax in three dimensions. They're definitely real. Twelve. Okay, well, I guess I'm near enough to my loot. That's. Yes, these early missions they they seemed uh sort of very inspired by the original game missions with a lot of time having cutscenes and voice acting and just. You know, these days a lot of missions don't have any voice acting or anything, and they're just kind of, you know, back then it was like you do the thing and you do the thing right, and you do the thing powerful. Not that modern FMs aren't doing it right. You know what I'm trying to say. Maybe you don't. Maybe what I'm trying to say is not what I think I'm trying to say. Exit. It's an exit. Hello there, exit. Exit. It's not an exit. Okay, this is the exit, apparently. To whom it may concern, the lock on the side gate is broken. Until repairs can be made, all food, stuffs, supplies, and <coughs> dildos will have to come in through the front gate or not at all. Durkin. Hmm. Nevertheless. Oops, whoa, 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 whoa. That's saving a million times in a row. I'm going to blow on my disc base like that. I meant to lean forward. <laughs> Even if the lock is broken, I'm still gonna bop this guy. Cause what an imbecile. What an idiot. What a jerk face just walking around where nobody even cares. <laughs> when I read my 16s, it's like going to see the Sistine Chapel. Whoa, another skinny milkman. Skinny milkman, skinny white walls. That's better. Yeah, the kitchen well known as being the least lucrative room. But you know, thieves have to steal and get the essentials while they're out. Oh, hey, that's cute. Look at that. That's so cute, I'm going to leave that on straight up. <laughs> Are you a secret scroll? Oh, hey, let's put a pan on here. Even It's a pot. Let's, let's put both of them on. Oh, man. It's no, let's... Let's cook us up some apples or whatever we got. <laughs> That's so cute, man. 
Yeah. Oh man, let's cook some food. Let's cook us up some bread now. Let's cook us up with some of those and put some I don't know. <laughs> I guess put some bread in the pan. Seems about right. Yeah. Ooh, this'll be a tasty meal. Yeah, man, we gotta get cooking here. Come on. No ingredients or anything down there. Well, that one doesn't have anything to put on it, so let's just leave it off to save gas or whatever this is. Now you're cooking with not coal. Ooh. What is this, the Cthulhu room? It's not a room. And the bar is now not marked again. Frickin' what? But I was just been in there, been done. Do you mean to say it's an accident that it's not marked and it, it gets unmarked when you, what are you doing? Hmm. I swear, this place is way bigger than the map makes it appear. Look, this is the bar, right? So, so yeah, when you leave, it goes away, so it doesn't stick around, that's what I'm trying to say. Which is another way of saying the same thing, sort of like dot show parentheses versus dot visible equals true. You see? Okay, well, I'm closest to my loot goal. What is my actual goal here? Break into the treasury, right, so I need some sort of code. Uh... Yeah, you're not supposed to do it, but wait. Like, yes, I could use the flash bomb on these guys. But I'm not gonna. So Fuckface's room up here is supposed to be, quote, around a corner or something. I mean... <sighs> I thought it meant... I mean, around the corner is down the stairs. Maybe he means around the other corner. At the end of the corridor. You mean through this Arabian Nights thing? Why? I swear there's way more halls than there are on this map. This map is not accurate, and that's my official... Okay, at the end of what corridor? There's eight million corridors? What are you talking? <sighs> Master bedroom, guest room, servants, guards, main hall, that... Do you mean this? Well, at least I'm out here, so that's something. Oh, hey there, battlements. How it goes? Oh, hey, it's even a drawbridge, or a drawer bridge, if you want to badly imitate the correct people. Oh, so young, so ignorant. Right. Well, maybe we can lower the drawbridge and sort of undraw it, if you will. You might say we would erase it, if you will. Oh, well. Yeah, these don't, like, I never... I never seen that happen in Thief Gold before. I, I guess it's a Thief Gold exclusive thing. Why are these guys alerted from head bopping? That's not a thing. Yeesh. There. Nothing under you. Nothing under you. And there's the Angel Order logo, sort of. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Wait, this is more battlements? More battlements? Yeah, I think I would say, personally speaking, this place may be a little too large with too many large, I don't know, the scale is, is, is a little too large. So? Maybe, I don't know. Hey, wait, oh, no, they just they don't make a sound <laughs> and they push you hard. Get the archer something? first. <laughs> Oh, it's even super quiet. It's very nearly an automatic car. You know, it doesn't go... So this is truly the exit, I guess. Yeah, this halfway auto map is real strange. Anyway. <laughs> no going there tonight, baby brown. Not tonight. Oh, hey, guess what? It's yet another... I should just leave all doors open, even if I don't want to leave all doors open. Because who knows? Oh. Garrett, you going to stop in for a little light reading? No? Oh, wait. 
Okay, that's pretty cool looking. You just know. I mean, look, there's always a hidden book, isn't there? there there's always a hidden book, right? Dryad, an unassuming, ambivalent entity. These are either made of or disguise themselves as trees and other large plants. Only females are known to exist, though it is unknown whether genders actually apply. They inhabit woodlands, and it is unlikely they could survive other habitats. Dryads are at least closely related to naiads. Niades? Niades? How do you pronounce that? If not actually the same beings. Kuriat or Kulia, a large bipedal animal, superficially lizard-like, that inhabits desert regions. It is likely related to the common Burak, although at least twice the size. There are reports of mutant Kuriats with wings, but nothing substantial. Oh, mutants. Not, not just ordinary standard evolutions or, or different species. No, mutants. Rachel's Tome of Magic. Introduction. It is the erudite practitioner of magic who, in these days of pseudo-wizards carelessly wielding enchanted materials, retains the secrets of commanding the powerful sorcery found in the world of nature. For it was from listening to the hidden whispers of ancient oaks, of creeping vines, of desert sandstone pillars, that civilized people first learned the abstruse ways of magic. It's an original text, but a good one. But a good one, I guess. You know, unlike all the original, other original texts, which are terrible. Uh, <laughs> it's just kidding. Thief writing's amazing. Kjolfir. Kjolfir was one of the three high kings of the precursors, and is considered largely responsible for what is today referred to as paganism. One of the legends associated with him was his ability to open a holy portal, this is a literal translation and could easily be something as simple as a temple door, simply by placing his hand on an obelisk. Kjolfir apparently went insane in old age, as his later religious tenets directly contradict his earlier ones. Oh wow, changing your mind! Such insanity! Put him in the asylum! We assume there was some sort of public revolt, but records of the period are largely undiscovered. However, his acolytes were extremely pleased to record in later years that Kjolfir's disembodied head functioned just as well as his hand did. <laughs> okay. Some people do also purport to loudly change their mind due to, uh pressure of having their heads cut off. Quite sad, really, but... Comprehensible. COMPREHENSIBLE! Wow, this, this is pretty... What? Who? What? Where? Help. Jesus Help. Christ, what are you doing? Too many milkmen! Spoil the milkshake! Which definitely does not refer to anything. It's, it's, a, it's an abstract thing. And definitely not... Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you didn't have... Oh, oh, what? What is all that? You didn't have super fancy graphics or the ability to render them. Why is the mouse getting all weird? Back then, but like, the, you used what you had and made pretty, pretty things. I'm like, look at that, hey? Pretty, pretty. That should have been the thumbnail. Alas, it's too late now. See, what are you even doing? There's no way there's this many of you. Good. The fuck? <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. That that the yoker was on me. Oh yeah, pincer me, baby, sandwich me. See, what the hell's go? Like that's just stupid. That doesn't. That's not a thing. Can't, can't tell the difference between someone who's just brain damaged I'll for life you. and someone who's dead. Honestly. Damn you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 I'm cheating. Did that guy have a key on his waist? By using the cheapy engine stuff. Okay, what's all this nonsense? Oh, it's a special door. So the plot thickens with this bronze key. It's three missions also, so there's going to be another mission. I don't know what it will be. Maybe it'll be a desert where we'll see... Flying Kruliats or whatever. You know? Okay, seriously, there's a secret passage or something in here, or what? Because, like, why would it be locked? Hmm. He said, with extreme suspicion. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Even a mission this early had big visible switches. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, we're gonna need two of them even. Well, I better come back here when I got both, I guess. Probably. Yeah. Well, now I know, and now mushrooms are gonna make me go like a lot, so there's that, but I do have my loot goals, so there's that, 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 that. Oh yeah, yeah. Like there can't possibly I mean seriously, you see what I mean? Like this there's no way. I mean this room isn't even on the map. This map is like totally not even close to what the mission is, I swear. Wow, and even this mission's got cool stuff in it. You know? Not that I needed that, but it's fun to get. Loot is fun to get. Alright, you, what are you? Oh. Oh, it's the literal trickster, and then there's the literal precursor. What? Wait. You mean to tell me? <laughs> no. That's like a keeper symbol. Obviously. Keepers! Like a hodur. Oh, goat foot god of Arcady. Ar Ar Arcady. What does that mean? This modern world is gray and old, and what remains of to us of thee? Then blow some trumpet loud and free, and give thine oaten pipe away. I'll leave the halls of Arcady. The, this modern world hath need of thee. Good meter. <coughs> nope. It's amazement proof glass. Really cool looking though, ah. Uh. So cool. Well, here, wherever the fuck here is. I'm guessing if I just keep going, I'll find whatever room I'm supposed to. F you mean there's a third, third, fourth, eighth floor? Go to some end of some corridor, I'll eventually find. Okay. I swear this map is just really vague and not at all actually accurate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm a man of little consequence. Whether gods live or die is not a decision that should be left to me, but this world, the creation of these gods, has been left in my hands. For me to decide its future is pretentious, even arrogant. I would be the one to destroy his vision of the world by following my own wishes instead of his. My only course of action is to continue as my god would direct me. It is his wish and I am his servant. Tonight I will go to the basement, open the portal with the head of our king, and do what I must do. My greatest relief is that soon this abominable man-flesh coddling side of the order will end. What's wrong with coddling man-flesh? Hey, man-flesh needs love too. Let me tell you. So sweet and fluffy, love. Uh, yeah. Master, sickens me to write in the manflesh way now, but you are missing, and I must go kills that manful Durkin. Manful Horton cans not be trusted, so keeps I bright keys after you goes down, make gold keys and use room with bed, and hides me brownsy key out with the cat's wet mouth. Puts me back his head to its place. Okay, please go into my inventory. Yes, okay. Gold, but there's only two. What's the gold for? Oh, the gold for the other room? Gold keys in use room with bed. Brownsy key. So you're not talking about the silver. Maybe it's gold and it just looks like it should be silver. I don't know what's... Are you the goldsy key? That looks not that gold to me, but whatever. This day is one of the happiest of my life. I have been elected as head of the order unanimously. I look forward to creating a more positive view of paganism among the ordinary people. While the Hammerites may not be overwhelmingly popular, they have certainly seeded distrust against us in the people. I hope to change all that. The old master tells me there is a ceremony for the transfer of authority tomorrow. I'm a little nervous. The old man unnerves me slightly. I'm unsure what happened last night. The old man took me to a hidden room in the basement and we stepped through some kind of portal. Instantly, I found myself at an ancient ruin. The master walked inside and we spoke briefly. He asked me some questions which I answered in the way I thought he expected me to. He seemed pleased enough. What happened next is still a blur. I was blinded for a few moments and when my eyes cleared, the master was dead. His body lay hollow and scarred at my feet. I returned to my chamber, but I did not sleep well. 
I feel strange today. Something in my stomach is in range today. Stronger, perhaps, but ill at ease in this place. The walls seem too straight, the ceilings too low. I lay in the garden for hours. The grass seems to whisper gently to me. The fountain babbles and giggles, and the blushes and blushes, and the bushes seem to bend and twist to my emotions. I felt quite happy. I can hear the plants more clearly, but another voice, not stronger exactly, but always concurrent underneath everything, speaks to me now. This was 2000, they hadn't invented concurrency yet. I can't make out what it's saying, but it seems in pain, angry. I feel I have to help it, though I'm not sure why. I don't feel I have to help any man here. These people are like parasites to me. I feel nothing for the ones who go on tonight's hunt. It grows more difficult for me not to kill the disgusting. No, beasts is too good a word for them. Beasts are noble. His voice is perfectly clear now. I know exactly what I have to do for the first time in my life. Giblin and Rurai will be my acolytes. I'm confident of their loyalty. I will take them to the ruin when the moon rises. Rurai reacted unexpectedly. After I enhanced Giblin, Rurai drew his sword and began to attack me. Giblin was forced to kill him. I feel sorry for him. I don't understand why he was so afraid. We're better now than he was. Surely he could see that? I am perturbed by this. I have not written here for some time. I felt no need before to record these events in such a manlike way. But as I get closer to realizing our goal, I grow less confident that what we plan is good. Giblin continues to reassure me, however. I'm sure he would not approve of my use of language as I write this. I met the new head guard today. He seems well-trained, well-educated for a swordsman, and open to our beliefs. It's not necessary to convert him to our cause, but I think he could be useful, if only for a different company. I think Giblin is developing an overestimated sense of his importance. The seal has finally come into our possession. It came with a large price tag, but these man-fools have deep pockets. It is the final and most significant key to his release, should I choose to go on with our plans. My decision must be made soon. But, like, I don't have the code to get this objective. Escape to the... So I guess I have to go into the portal, because escape to the city streets is the after thing. And I like after things, probably. Well, I guess... Mouse? Excuse me. I don't know what's going on here. Anyway, I guess I can try going through here and just see what sort of horrors await. This is definitely silver. I see. Look, I'm not gonna put that in the... T okay. Where was the room with... I mean, I'm guessing it'd be called a gallery, maybe. Armory, kitchen, stairs, library, treasury. No, that's not the treasury. Master bedroom, dining, servants. Ma see, see what I mean? It's the shit's not even marked. This, it's a dining hall, although it looks like a gallery. Oh, that's the head. But I still need a silver one, which I don't see any mention whatsoever. In that readable of the silver one. Yeah, he talks about brown and gold keys. Not silver. So that's why I'm just kind of going around till I find something new. Okay, what's all this nonsense? I mean, it's new, although it... Is someone there? Simple there? thing. Doesn't precisely look... Important. Wait, who, who just went down? Oh, wow. Well. Just keep going, just keep going. I am the bow of the waltzing with you. Uh, I heard a rumor there's almost nothing left in the order's coffers. I'm worried where my wages are going to come from next week. Where could all the money have gone? We've been raking it in from these fools. I know building the new house for the order is expensive, but it's been planned for years. I bet we're having to pay off the hammers. I can't believe they let this place stay open. <laughs> Would they really, though, allow a pagan place to stay open even with payoffs? I don't know, Davey. Oh, it's guard quarters. Always the most boring plebeian, yet sometimes useful thing. Oh. Oh, he's in brightness, but I guess that's fine. Probably. 
Like, I don't see why anything would be in, in here at all regarding silver keys. Anything whatsoever. I don't know if I found Durf from his office or what. Or Hortons or whoever the hell. Maybe I missed something somewhere. I mean, I'm, maybe I missed something somewhere. Or maybe I just haven't been somewhere. I wonder what happened here. Are you gonna have an important piece of silver? Well, there's a key. The only door I know that's still locked is the one you can get around through the window. <laughs> Master, I didn't want to do this, but I thought it was your right to know. You're a good man, and you've treated us all very well since you became head of the order. But I think Giblin might be taking advantage of your generosity. He's been very careless with his duty recently, and... Ha! So Giblin finally decided to pay me a visit, did he? Well, I'll just finish what I'm writing. <laughs> Guess you would still be writing... When a guy comes in, okay, seriously, what? Uh, I don't think there's anything behind there. Okay, this is his office. But, like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with Giblin's key? Oh, well, just keep going until you can't. Go until you can't go no more. Wait, is it this? No. But still. I will be unavailable for the rest of the evening as I am immersed in my studies. Giblin is also busy, I believe, so if needs be, contact the head guard Horton for assistance with any problem. Your humble master. Maybe I read that already. I don't know. Any oh, no, it's not that hallway. What the hell is it then? Ugh. Going around in circles. Jesus Christ, man. What? Ah, this. Oh, okay. Whoa. Well, now we're getting somewhere. Damn. Oh, yeah, it's nice and pagany and weird and Constantine. See, why even have these if they don't work on anyone you'd actually want to use them on? Or they just don't work at all? Like, what the hell, dude? It worked the first time I used it. So, uh, what am I actually supposed to do? Just kill him? Don't kill any humans. Do you count as human? <laughs> do you count as human? Probably. You could also be invincible. Bro. Stop saying that! I mean... <sighs> yeah, I... And there it is, but should I really have done that? I feel like there's a more... cleverer way. I don't know, uh, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there's all this stuff up here, sure, but... Is this really safe, though? Does it really? Because, like, there's these ropes, but what's the point of these when I'm just going to get got? Huh. Uh, I feel like there's some... Some cleverness. Whoa, hey, that's even warring. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I guess I could lead him out. Hmm. I don't know. I just don't know. I, I mean, what do you like? What? Like, you just want to run and then leave again? But there's a note up there. Okay, well, maybe this will tell me how to defeat this monstrosity. Master is not easy. Think me not why he satisfies these man-fools. Methinks he dislikes the gift the honeymaker puts in him. Fools he him more than these man-fools. Vile man-fools. Drinks he these their wine. Eats he the meats of his forest. Master's friends are they. Dine master with these. Laugh he's him like them. Takes he him their monies. Me hopes these die slowly like least these who goes on the hunt. Tricks he they is. 
There pulls he his beasts, these skin from these bones, feasts him well on these fattened flesh, hunts he man flesh, hunts his back, they brain into they skull. <laughs> Yeah. Like, there's just not enough darkness even with these ropes here. I just don't get it. I, I mean, are you really just supposed to kill him normally? Like... <sighs> and why don't the sand arrows ever goddamn work anymore? I don't know. I don't know what's the clever way to do this, but whatever. I got it done. I got the shit red. <laughs> and things are getting crazy. I mean, yeah, like you'd think maybe standing on this would put you in dark, maybe? I don't know. It's, I know you can't rope into objects. Not unless it's the sun within and the sun without. But if I were to have gone up here, I don't think that's really, yeah. I don't know, you guys, but I've got all this stuff now. I don't have the code for the safe. Maybe I get it through the portal. I don't know why that would be the case, but let's just give it a try. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't need that loot, but I'm going to get it anyway because I'm greedy. And you get what you don't need constantly. Wait. This is new. Oh my god, what an amazing, amazing, amazing room. I, I just can't... Oh, wait. It's going to be another secret scroll, ain't it? Or not? Oof. Oh, man. The least amazing... Oh, no. That's like cleaning out the potties. What the hell? There's got to be a secret scroll. Wait. Come on. Like, either it's sticking or it's just not... My no. Oh my god, dude. What? Nasty. <laughs> Come on. I know there's a secret thing somewhere. There's just gotta be, right? Because, like, otherwise, why would I be marinating and shit, right? There's no reason. It's because there's something secret. <laughs> well, this water looks clean, about as clean as you get in Thief, anyway. Oh, why so many tunnels? Why? Why? What? God damn these mazes of tunnels. Look at this shit. Hopefully not literally. Ugh. Well, I was going to go through the portal, but I guess that ain't happening. Not right now. Anyways, I was hoping to find a, a secret scroll. <gasps> I mean... Oh, wait, there's that? Well, oh, there's a ladder. So there's a ladder there, but then what's all this nonsense? Hey, What is all this nonsense? Uh, okay, I can't forget there's a ladder, because I usually often forget if I'm going to go one place and I go another, I forget to go the first place again. So there's that. God damn it, could, could you just stop? Oh, wow. Okay, I mean, I guess I'll take it. Still no secret scroll. I have to go back for the other, other, other ladder, though. Oh, that's this. Interesting. Okay. I don't need to do this at all, but, you know. Why not? Okay, I'm done. Guess what I'm remembering? <gasps> the other ladder there. Too close. A little too close. There. That's better. Oh, I should have just gone up here first, because there's nothing. Wait, no, there's... No, uh, no, there's something. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you imagine standing down here? What a horror it would be. You'd want to get out of here pretty quickly, you would. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. You know these old missions are cool because... Like, yeah, you could say, well, they sometimes a little blocky or they don't have, like, polish that people learned in later times. But they did, like, cool stuff you don't expect in later times either, you know? It's... Oh, and that's the bar. Okay. Anyways, as I was saying, yes, this is not a real shelf. God, it's weird how real it looks at a distance. Wait a minute, what's all this?
up. Uh, oh, whatever. And what do you know? I forgot that. Oh, and there's probably something up on the rafters. Let's have a look. No? Perhaps not. I have thought of a better use for you. Well, it could be a coin or something. Who knows? Maybe there's something on this. I'm not gonna check. What's all this? Look, I gotta check everything I find. Oh, it's it's a Théâtre Green Thumb. Look at all the green. You see? Oh, oh, a play is over. Like a poor play. We hope it amused you, friend. <laughs> Etc. Well, oh, crap. Look, I just want to go every... Oh, wow, this is the best room literally in history. Look at that room. Incroyable. Yes, before I go stampeding everywhere... And that's that whole other section? <laughs> okay, I'm starting to think I really probably have gone everywhere, or if not, most places. Okay, friggin' finally. Let us now see. Oh yeah, I need to place the hat. <laughs> yeah. Excuse? Excuse? Sheesh. Oh. Rude. Oh shit. Okay, you know what? That's whoa, that's creepy though. Frickin' the marching mild of spiders. Yes, good. I know you can use blackjack, whatever. If anyone is reading this, I am going to try to kill this master tonight. That god of theirs, if released, will reduce us to animals. I think with the hammers around, it would... It would believe we had deviated too far from its expectations. I don't know how it would do it, but I doubt it would ask us nicely to give up civilization. The ritual must be happening tonight. I don't know exactly what's involved, but I know it must be stopped. It shouldn't be too hard to sneak past Giblin into the basement. He barely seems aware of anyone but himself these days. I don't even know if these things can be killed, but we'll see if it can breathe with a sword in its neck. Horton, formerly head guard of the Order of the Vine. Yeah, I have to talk now. This is definitely not on the map. Oh, why would it be? Oh, yes. Map of the mansion, including the ultra-secret... Whoa, it's moving lava. What's frickin' what? Map of the ultra-secret evil dead room. Not dead, the evil pagan room. Pagan race dead to us. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I'm playing on hard so I can blackjack people. That's right. <laughs> Dang it. Whoa. This is crazy, man. You don't see shit like this. Okay, now this is new mantling. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to mantle that. If not, and it could very well be not, then, oh well. There is nothing anyway. I don't know. It seems like maybe you're supposed to... I don't know. Whoa. Is that another portal? Can I just, like, jump down there? Uh-oh. Uh, maybe, but maybe not. <laughs> could, in theory, maybe possibly, but Garrett says, uh-oh, so that could be bad news. Mm. Yikes. And again, maybe the uh-oh is, look at all those beasts down there. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. This is a getting down puzzle. Crap, and there's lost city lights. I kind of wanted to end the video back. I, I didn't know how long this place was going to be. And if I end it here, well, <laughs> what? 
That would be bad for some reason, because then it would be all uneven and lopsided. Well, let's just keep going. Maybe it'll be an hour long, and I'll get 50 cents from it even. That's kind of a lot, sadly. These videos, you know, I ran the math on how much does it cost to keep buying new hard drives at the going rate per storage, and a typical video of typical length is going to cost me between 2 and 5 cents in disk space, which that means I have to make more than that per video, which usually is the case. <laughs> okay, but seriously now, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. wait, okay, that's I'm not supposed to mantle through that window in old dark, so I won't. There's something else. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can't see shit, Captain. Whoa, there's no contrast on these. Ew, my eyes. Shit. And there's a man with them, too. And these guys scream. So probably best just leave them alone. Maybe there's something to read. Is it gold or what? The seal. Uh-oh. Um. Was that supposed to happen? <laughs> the trickster's just there and I, and I actually survived. Maybe I'm not supposed to survive. Okay. They didn't hear. There's an ape somewhere. Oh no, you're the ape. Crap. Ooh. You are the ape, sir. Oh, you're the master, are you? Okay, what the hell happened to this treasury? I feel like I'm missing the obvious number code somewhere. There's the seal. I, uh, I don't know what you do with this. You, like, drop it down there. You don't do anything. You just get it. Uh... What about you? Do you drop you down there? <laughs> the literal <laughs> trickster is down there. Uh-oh. Uh. Yeah, okay then. So maybe I just get the seal and then just leave? But what is the seal for? I probably read about it. I probably forgot. Uh. I mean... Can I even get back up? I should be able to, right? Like, what's... Is this just like a joke? Uh -oh. Like... I'm not sure what to do here, so I'm actually going to leave the video here. And, uh... And, yeah. Bye!